This is going to be a quick and simple tutorial on how to get the PRAM battery out of a PowerBook 3400 series laptop. It's located right here under this speaker and it is extremely prone to leaking and when that happens it will leak over the board uh, and ruin it. These are rare computers so you don't want that. So here's a quick tutorial. Close the screen hinge, flip it over, I'm doing this all one-handed. You'll have three screws to remove on the bottom of the unit. Number one. Number two. And number three. That one's pretty tight on mine. Okay. We don't actually have to get them out. That's fine. They've just fallen out, but that's fine. All right, open the lid. Grab onto the space bar here. Lift up the keyboard and set it aside like that. It's already been removed from mine, so I'll just show you where it is. Remove this screw here. Flip this up and pull it out. At that point, carefully lift this. And if you haven't already removed it, the battery will be right around here. And you just want to disconnect the connector. And if you have any corrosion, it'll likely have gone down there. And um, the actual position, the cable will run through here under the palm rest into the DC power board. It's not completely necessary to remove it all the way. There is a disconnect that you'll see right around here. It may be difficult to get it disconnected because the first place the corrosion goes is it wicks up the connector. Um, that's how it was on mine. And uh, I removed it at the power board because I was removing this piece, but it's a lot more difficult to remove this piece. So um, there may be a little bit of corrosion in the connector on the power board that you might want to check out. But if you just want to do a quick fix, and if you're planning on like swapping out a different hard drive later, you'll have to remove this anyway. You could do that and just leave it like that with just the battery out there and that part of the connector is still installed uh, for now. But you'll probably want to address that at some point because there could be some corrosion there. If you do want to get this piece off, it's annoying because there's a clip here and around here. So it's uh, kind of difficult and tricky to get. Anyway, reassembly, simple. Get that piece reseated, and then grab your screw in there, but you can just pretty much repeat the steps in reverse. I'm not going to go through all this because it's really difficult to get screws back in one-handed. So, yep, pretty simple.